Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through the range that I'm currently trading here on Bitcoin with the targets for that uh, and I'm going to be starting off with a trade that I took this morning and uh, explaining to you the theory behind it and giving you an insight into uh, my thought process uh, which I believe should be very educational for you. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and let's start off with before I go through the targets of the range. Let's go through the trade that I took this morning, which, you know, uh, w was very nice indeed. Let's, let's be honest. Um, so, um, well, let's pick off where we left yesterday. So let's first, obviously, in yesterday's video, I gave you the range of hourly support, 9,025, monthly resistance, 9,250, and the weekly resistance, 9,530. So that gave us our range to be trading. Okay, we can see that since yesterday's video, which was around 9,100, we moved up into weekly resistance, uh, sorry, monthly resistance by about $7, which for me is a rejection. So $7 from monthly seeing that rejection i was asleep during this price action but we obviously got a secondary rise up to there and a, and a big red candle to follow <laughs> uh, so i was waking up uh, up around this sort of time okay after seeing those rejections and naturally, you know, expecting a lower price. So I woke up this morning. Um, obviously, the first thing I do is check market sentiment. Market sentiment this morning was very, very bearish. Uh, just bearish posts across the board. Obviously, people had their eyes on the descending triangle. People just getting really, really scared, expecting uh, lower prices when they see those sort of, you know, swift rises. You know, whenever you get a swift rise, everybody turns extremely bullish. Whenever you get a swift, you know, decline, everybody turns extremely bearish. It's just... This is why people lose money because they flip flop, flip flop, flip flop every single day. It's crazy. But um, <laughs> when you think of it like that, it really is. But, uh, you know, I was sticking to my plan. So I woke up this morning. Obviously, I give all the information first to my group before I post it on Twitter. That's to be expected, I guess. But I woke up this morning and, and laid out my plan to the group of saying, I'm looking to ladder along on this decline. I'm expecting a bounce to come. OK, that was my thought process this morning. Obviously, a high risk and contrarian trade because you're trading against what the market's thinking. Uh, but I saw the, the opportunity there. OK. Obviously, the more risk as well leads to more rewards. Um, but that, that's not a re that's not a reason to enter a trade. I saw the technical reasons as well. OK, uh, so we, what we can see was that swift decline. OK, so we obviously got our firstly our, our, our hourly level here. But this is obviously the post I did post on Twitter, you know, following. Um, so people could have joined me on this as well for free, I guess, if they <laughs> if they were if they were feeling confident in that as well, like I was. You know, this is where confidence is a must in trading. It really is. And I, I have very high confidence in, in my own ability as a trader. Um, but yeah, this was obviously what everyone was referring to. The descending triangle getting very bearish and very much shaken out on this decline, okay? And I saw this as an opportunity to basically fit an averaged entry long positions. I had laddered longs and uh, my overall fill was $2 below this, what which was average fill of 8,976, okay? That was my average fill. Obviously, I posted on Twitter a little bit later the, the screen grab of the entries and stuff. But um, yeah, that was my, that was my uh, long this morning. And obviously, as I mentioned, it's a contrarian trade. And you obviously, when you're doing that, you have to have an invalidation level, um, but ultimately following your plan. That's what you need to do. Um, so I followed that plan and we saw the rise up to 9,440. So about a 5% rise in an hour. That is a crazy gain. Um, when myself, I've already now locked in 40% profits. Uh, so this is the thing, people chasing it up, up there when you're at 9,400. If you bought 9,400, you're now at a loss and you've lost money. But when you take these sort of trades, obviously, um, a contrarian sort of viewpoint, when you get in a good entry, well, you know, while people are FOMOing in longs, I've already now locked in 40% profits. So that's when you get to people buying in in FOMO where they're buying into my sell orders, essentially. So I've already taken 40%, stop losses up to break even. And, uh, you know, it's a totally, totally risk free, already profits in the bank sort of trade. <laughs> so that's a very very nice one and ultimately i'm in this game to make money not to be correct so we we could fall down from here and not hit this upper target i couldn't care less whether i'm right or wrong on this now because i've made money and that's what i trade for <laughs> um so yeah that's another thing to be aware of uh, but you can see here we are we are currently at the monthly level. But let's just refer to back the last few pumps that we've seen, where you you've seen the you've seen the rise and it gave it all back. Okay, you saw a very nice pump here and it gave it all back. So ultimately, unless you take nine thousand four hundred and forty, you could see another rise that gives it all back. So just be aware of that. But you're currently at this monthly level, and I've got a support in here at one nine thousand one hundred and thirty. So nine thousand one hundred and thirty for me is a key level. That should not be broken to the downside if we're going to see continuation. You know, start breaking above that, and, it's, and it could easily turn into one of these where it gives it all back. Okay, so just be aware of that. I've got nine one thirty as a key support, but ultimately we're going to be looking up to uh, nine thousand five hundred thirty being the weekly nine thousand six hundred. If you clear that, then you're going to be looking at ten k. Uh, if you are aware of some of the memes, you've got sixteen k for tonight, but I don't think sixteen k is going to happen, <laughs> in my opinion. But never say never, I guess. Uh, <laughs> if you get that meme. 
Uh, obviously, if you start breaking down again from the hourly with closes below, you're going to be, well, firstly 8,800, but I'll be looking more towards 8,006, 8,005 uh, if we are to break down. But I'm leaning slightly bullish here, and obviously, unless we start closing below those key levels mentioned, uh, but, you know, you, you have to be, you know, aware of those sort of 85 eight, sort of support levels. Um, and ultimately, still range bound for the time being. So this is still a very, very nice range to be trading, currently below the monthly. So just be aware you are currently below that by a, by a dollar, but nevertheless below it. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to refer to the next. Oh yeah. I got this up just to refer to this very, very briefly before I move on. Uh, but you know, um, I kind of, you know, a really, really, uh, really bad look, I guess. And, and I, I apologize, you know, I write some of these tweets in the moment, but I literally felt like, you know, I, I, yeah, I, I guess self-confidence is a must in trading. It, it kind of is, but I truly believe like I was like the best. I was just feeling on top of the world. Like it's just so many times, obviously I've been trading for many, many years, but, uh, since, since I started crypto trading, which was about two years ago now, specifically crypto before that, obviously done stocks and, and, uh, Forex. But since I've been trading crypto, I have to think how many of these right moves have I been on? Obviously, since we were at, back at 20K, you know, I was shorting this and I managed to close my short all the way down in the end, coming out of it at around 4,400. Okay, so grabbing a short on that, then ultimately trading the long from 5,000, about 5,500 up to the 10Ks, and then obviously getting into my short positions around there, closing them out at 7,400, longing 7,400, and well, here we are at 9,000. So, I mean, <laughs> I guess my my history and my stats can back up me saying this, uh, but I do apologise for people that um, get offended by that sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> if you got offended by it, if you saw the the boss level, then let's go team. Uh, <laughs> um, obviously, yeah. There's absolutely go team. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to mention here today. You know, so you've still got that level. You were currently sat at two thousand nine hundred forty. So below this. Um, and I will end here. Okay, so I'll finish the analysis. I'll end with just uh, this this uh, sort of reminder that, uh, you know, yesterday, I obviously, well, this was the post this morning that I made looking for that long. We obviously moved into their 5% profits. So on top of making money in the group, uh, then you can come along. And obviously, I've done my Fibonacci live stream part one yesterday. If you uh, miss that or you're looking to join today, tomorrow, next week, etc., then all the past live streams are recorded. So you can watch it back whenever you want. But obviously, next week, we're going into Fibonacci part two. What's not to love? about fibs they're like such a legendary way to trade uh, but yeah obviously group loving that part two next week if you missed part one you can watch it back on the website um uh, whenever you want um so yeah that that's all i'd just say but you know i'm totally okay uh shilling chart champions because i truly truly believe it is like the best period um i guess me message anyone in the group and i'm pretty sure they're going to tell you to say uh the retention rate is is through the roof so uh people are loving it to be honest uh, so i'm more than happy to do this uh, you know, you'll notice that I never shill a, you know, I've never shilled a referral link. I don't shill exchanges. I don't want you to sign up through my referrals because I don't need anything like that. But uh, through this, I'm like more than happy because uh, I truly believe it is very, very beneficial for you. Uh, but that's for a decision for you to make. Now that's enough of me. And uh, yeah, trade the range. Um, I've given you the key levels that I'm looking at uh, while currently trading this right now. So I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this one. Uh, you can learn something from the way I've traded. My thought process going into this morning to obviously get that trade and uh, what I'm looking at now. Okay, so thanks uh, once again, everybody. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, signing out. Cheers, bye. <laughs>